Bruce Reimer was a boy born in Winnipeg, Canada, alongside his twin brother Brian on August 22, 1965. As the twins started growing, they showed some problems urinating due to phimosis, a condition in which foreskin cannot be pulled back off the head of the penis. When the boys were seven months old, their parents Janet and Ronald Reimer took them to get circumcised in order to fix the problem. What the parents didn't know was that the doctor in charge of the circumcision was using a method of cauterization, a burning technique, instead of a traditional blade. During the procedure, Bruce Reimer suffered a horrible accident which resulted in his penis being burnt off. His parents were devastated by this, and after hearing of their son's accident, they decided against having his brother Brian circumcised, whose phimosis later cleared on its own. While questioning whether or not their son would be happy as a male with no penis, their mother happened to be watching a show on television that featured a psychologist named Dr. John Money, who specialized in biology of gender and sexual identity. He appeared charismatic, intelligent, and confident and he was also well-respected and reputable in his field by his peers. He had a theory that gender was not something you were born into, but something learned through socialization and upbringing. The parents felt this was the answer to their son's problem, so they contacted Dr. Money and told him of their situation. Dr. Money invited them to Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore to meet with him. After discussing the matter, the doctor convinced the parents that it would be in their son's best interest to raise him as a girl. So it began that while his brother Brian was raised like a boy, Bruce was raised as a girl and was given the new name Brenda. At 22 months old, his testicles were removed, he was given dolls and other girlish toys to play with, pretty dresses to wear, and as instructed, they did not tell Brenda about his accident. He and his brother would both go to yearly appointments to see Dr. Money so he could keep watch on Brenda's progress. It's worth mentioning that the twins were a perfect experiment for him to test his nurtured not nature theory, given the circumstance that there were two of them from the same genes for him to compare to each other. However, some issues arose. His parents and the doctor could see that he was showing more masculinity than he was feminine qualities. His brother Brian would share his toys with Brenda because Brenda was happier playing with things boys played with, and playing games that boys normally played. Brenda showed no sign of feeling like a female. If Brenda didn't fully accept being female as his identity, it would disprove Dr. Money's theory and his book about gender being a result of social construction. At seven years old, the boys started to be subjected to more sexualized experiments, like being asked what the differences are between boys and girls, and taught the sexual roles played by men and women. The doctor would make them role-play the positions themselves, like Brian standing behind Brenda and leaning his crotch against his brother's behind. He would also force the boys to inspect each other's genitals. On one occasion, he had the children undress and took nude photographs of them. If the children did not do as asked, the doctor would yell at them, to the point where they thought they would be struck. The children did not like the sessions with the doctor, but they didn't tell their parents what was going on. It was also around this age, Dr. Money tried talking Brenda into going through an operation that would completely change his parts to what he told Brenda they were supposed to look like, like a girl. Brenda was very scared of the thought and refused. Later on, when Brenda was becoming a teenager, the doctor made one last attempt to convince him about the operation. He invited another patient of his, a transgender female who had undergone an operation willingly, to talk with Brenda. It was after this that Brenda told his parents that he would kill himself if he had to see the doctor again. It was at this time the parents felt it was best to tell their sons the truth. Ron took Brenda out for ice cream while Janet took Brian elsewhere so they could individually tell their sons the truth, that Brenda was actually born a boy. Brenda, after being told that he was actually born a male, felt immense relief. He felt like himself and he was happy. His brother, however, could not handle the situation and took great shock to the news that his sister was actually his brother. The events surrounding Brenda caused a mental disturbance in Brian Reimer that would eventually lead to schizophrenia and his detachment from his brother. Brenda was ready to take on his new life and renamed himself David. Before he was excluded by the kids in school for his differences, teased and tormented, and felt different from everyone. Now he started making friends, had positive thoughts about the future, and embraced his identity as a boy. He started taking testosterone supplements to counteract the effects of estrogen hormones that the doctor had given to him over the years. 
This led to him getting a double mastectomy to remove his hormone-induced female breasts and two phalloplasty operations to recreate his penis. He also received a sum of money for the botched circumcision. Eventually, David met a woman named Jane Fontaine who had three children. They fell in love, got married, and David was happy with his new life. Things seemed to be looking up for him. However, things changed when David heard that Dr. Money was informing people that his experiment with David wanting to be a girl was a success, and nothing could be further from the truth. This caused David to get a hold of his brother so they could speak out against the doctor in the hopes of keeping other children from having to go through what he did. Brian agreed, and they opened up to the world about the truth of their history with Dr. Money. Later, in 2002, Brian Reimer was found dead after overdosing on antidepressants. Aside from David having to deal with his brother's death, he was conned out of $65,000 in a bad deal and was having trouble finding work. He was also having problems with his marriage, in which his wife asked for separation time. On May 2, 2004, David sawed off the end of a shotgun and drove to a nearby grocery store where he shot himself in the head. He was 38 years old when he took his life.